Hello and welcome to this presentation about psychology. My name is Rajni Sharma and I'm the subject lead for psychology. I wanted to take you through this presentation today to give you a bit of an insight into the topic areas that we cover in psychology and the sort of teaching and learning environment that you would be part of. A little bit of information about the department. Uh, all the psychology teachers are psychology experts. They're very enthusiastic about what they teach. So I'm hoping if you do decide to do psychology, it will be the enthusiasm that rubs off on you as well. I'm also very aware that um, psychology is a subject that many of you will not have done at GCSE. So even more important that you get a feel for what the subject offers you and then you can decide whether this is for you. So what does psychology cover? Well, you can see from this list of subtopics in the course, what sort of areas there are, and they're very diverse. First year covers biopsychology, psychopathology, attachment, memory, social influence. The second year covers approaches in psychology, schizophrenia, psychology of addiction, relationships. So a big variety of aspects of human nature and human behavior that we'd be interested in. Um, I'll take a few of these just to give you some more insight. Um, the topic area of memory, uh, always interesting to know whether you think you've got a good memory, whether your memory is reliable, why we might forget, how might we aid ourselves to remember things we forget. And always psychology tries to have a practical application. So when we are looking at how reliable our memories are, can we actually trust our memories? When we're looking at eyewitnesses and what they recall, can we take their information to the court of law and trust what their memory is telling us? It's been questioned through psychology research whether it is reliable reliable at all. Another area is psychopathology in the first year. In that area we look at uh, particular mental disorders such as depression, phobias, uh, OCD, so we get an idea of explanations of why these disorders might occur and it takes us then to the practical applications of treating individuals. If we understand why their problems occur we can go straight to treatments and see how they could be resolved. Uh, a second year area is relationships, again a favourite of the students, they do like to know what it is that makes us attractive to others uh, and attracted to us, um, what is it that makes relationships maintain themselves and continue, what breaks relationships down, we also look at areas of virtual relationships and parasocial relationships which are to do with celebrity worship, so again a very interesting area. Um, in the first year again the topic of uh, social influence is looking at how others around us influence our behavior very important in the current world and society to understand the impact of others on us um, so we look at conformity and obedience and disobedience all of those particulars um, a second year topic of psychology of addiction it looks at why we might become addicted to particular behaviors like smoking and again that leads us to understanding treatments so underpinning all of that is research methodology, which I haven't yet talked about. Research methods covers both year one and year two. It underpins most of what psychology is about. We want to find out about human behavior through research that psychologists do. So you get to learn the methodology such as self reports, experiments, observations that psychologists carry out to be able to then analyze the data and come to conclusions, whether we accept hypotheses, reject hypotheses about behavior. OK, so you'll notice just from that little whistle stop tour that there is a lot of diversity of subject content in psychology and hopefully you get something in there that you know that you can respond to, that excites you, that gives you uh, that idea of how much you could learn about yourselves and human behaviour in studying these particular topics. So. What qualifications do you need to actually do the psychology A-level? Well, it is a two year course, so you will have end exams. There's gonna be three exams that you'll sit uh, at the end of the two years. There is no coursework in psychology, so it's completely exam based. In order to get on the course, we do require you to have a grade four at maths. Now that's important because psychology is a science and all sciences require a 10% maths content, which we do have. Um, so if you come along with your grade four maths, you will be very adept at being able to cope with the maths that you will find in psychology. We also require a grade four in science, and this is important because you have come with an analytical, uh, reflective, evaluative mind having done science, which is going to be really handy to be able to apply to human behaviour. 
And then the grade four in English is because we do do essay writing. Um, you will have short answers and multiple choice style questions, but you will have essay questions as well. So again, that makes you ready and uh, you know prepared to be able to cope with the demands that psychology as a subject will require from you. So why choose psychology? It's new, no doubt, to most of you. But the whole uh, element of psychology is that it's very topical. It's current. It's understanding people, understanding behavior around us. We want to bring psychology out of the theory and out of the textbook and the research studies and actually apply it. And it gets you an opportunity to do that. You can bring in information about what's happening in the world and we can discuss it and see how that relates to psychological theories and concepts. We certainly like to bring in people from universities who've done research in psychology and the students have always been keen to take part as participants in research studies as well so it's very very hands-on um, we've done trips in the past such as to Auschwitz where we've uh, picked up on the topic of social influence and obedience and looked at the concentration camps and the, the ideas behind obedient behavior that led to those kind of atrocities so we try and bring psychology to life for you we like to discuss the topics we like you to be engaged and be able to bring your ideas forward and then connect that to what the theory say and what the research says. So a very kind of interactive environment for you to learn in. So all that's left really is this uh, link that you've got some more information you can find out about psychology. Um, psychology is a really fascinating subject. We're so enthusiastic about it. We think it's brilliant and we really hope that you get a chance to enjoy psychology and find that out for yourselves. Thank you very much. Bye now.